Awkward Mafia. Hello, Internet! Welcome to another episode of Aqua Mafia Watches Over the Garden Wall. I'm Jesse. I'm Golden. I'm Alex. I'm Frankie. Today we're watching episodes three and four. Uh, so, we know what the show's about. Two kids uh, lost in the woods trying to get home. Possibly on hallucinogenics. Yeah, it possibly isn't as real as it seems. <laughs> the show's dark. I, would, I wouldn't put it past it. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you think we're going to get to Adelaide in t- these two episodes, or do you think that's later on? No, I feel like with the way the older brother reacts and the way the younger brother just kind of goes in the opposite direction, there, it'll be a while. Probably another lone traveler that they think is Adelaide? Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. The bird knows who Adelaide is, right? Yeah. The older brother's probably going to see some sign for something. Like, oh no, we should just do this. Yeah. And just run off to some <laughs> other... Shortcut to where you're going. Oh, let's follow that. Let me not listen to the bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's watch. But first, you at home, support the official release. It's on DVD and Blu-ray and there's a book. And it's all great. Check it out. Thank you. I think they, they air it on Cartoon Network, I think, every year around Halloween. I think you can get it on Amazon, too. Yeah, yeah, I think it's on the Amazon, um, and Hulu, too, I think. Maybe Netflix? It wasn't on Hulu, because I asked Hulu to join up with Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It, it used to, I think Plus. it used to be on Netflix, and now it's not anymore. Because yeah. now it's going to be like the, yeah, Nickelodeon Plus, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm so, down for, actually, because I haven't seen either of the Hey Arnold movies. Okay. Yeah. But I wonder if someone's going to join up with Cartoon Network now. In that sense. Well, Cartoon Network's Warner Brothers, so... Yeah, I don't know. The closest thing they had was Hulu, and now that's mostly Disney. <laughs> yeah, but now that Disney Plus has started, when those contracts end for those movies, they're all going to get pulled. Yeah. So. Cartoon Network on DC <laughs> uh, Maybe. I mean, Titans Go, at least. <laughs> Alright, let's watch. You notice the skulls? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't before, but now I do. Old Town Follies. To Adelaide, to Adelaide. So cute. Come on and join the Adelaide parade. No. <laughs> to Adelaide, let's go to Adelaide's house. I need to fix that last part, but that's the idea. Let's go, come on. Sorry, sorry. There's some tissue. Hey, like, don't you want to be more like your brother? Just always doing what you're told? Huh? Just a pathetic pushover who relies on others to make all his decisions? Hey, what? I'm not a pushover. Hold on, Wirt. Let me get to my point. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, Will. School? Psh, not today. Greg! Excuse me? Please, take your seat, children. You're late. You know the rules. Once the bell has rung, class has begun. Oh, sorry, everybody. Sorry. No, he doesn't have a brain. He can't learn anything. Let's go, Ward. Come on. Here, boy. What? Did you say something? I can't hear you because I'm too busy doing what I'm told. What? I got enough nonsense from that no good, two timey, low down, handsome man of mine and that wild gorilla on the loose. Why, Jimmy, I just have one thing to say. A is for the apple that he gave to me, but I found a worm inside. B is for beloved that I called to. Ooh, that lady's got some baggage. What's that? <laughs> yeah. But you guys don't go to school, huh? I'm gonna stick with you guys. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Let's play two old cat. Do you guys know how to play two old cat? It's fun. Here's one old cat. Uh, we found another one. Wait, no. I think that cat is too old. <laughs> Sorry, kitty. We'll have to find another old cat. <laughs> hey, Jeffrey, I think there's one behind you. Oh, <laughs> Run! <laughs> why, yes, why is the question that's on my mind? Oh, why? Hey, Dunce, this is dreadful. Good. I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> Quick, in here! She's <laughs> just like, okay. Oh boy, meal time! This is way better than being chased by a gorilla. Mmm, <laughs> kind of bland. Here, Miss Langtree, play something like this. <laughs> oh, like this? Mmm, <laughs> good enough. <laughs> 
of potatoes and molasses. If you want some, I'll just ask us the warm and soft like puppies and socks filled with cream and candy. Lucky now you're eating that from the socks and potatoes <laughs> and molasses. And That's enough, Father. Is this what I've been paying for? Hey, we just wanted to have a little fun. I didn't invest in this school for fun. I thought we were trying to do important work here, teaching animals to count and spell. <laughs> we are all this <laughs> and this are all coming with me. Now send them to bed. You heard father. Off to bed with you. Okay, we're out here. <laughs> you seem like a pushover, but you're not. Oh? Deep down in your heart, you're a stubborn jerk. When are you gonna give this up? Maybe never. <laughs> we think I'll never give this up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Everything I had went into that dear, dear school. And now I'm forced to sell these instruments just to keep it open. All the while, that loathsome Jimmy Brown is off gallivanting who knows where. If only something would go right for a change. <laughs> that looks amazing. Okay, I think he's asleep. Let's go Got steal his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> huh? It's a benefit concert for the school. Oh, isn't it grand? Whoa! <laughs> finally. Jimmy? That's right, darling. Got a job in the circus so I could finally buy you that wedding ring. But when I got stuck in the dang suit, everybody was too doggone scared to help me out. Oh, Jimmy. Oh. Darling. <laughs> Yes, the world really is as sweet as potatoes and molasses. <laughs> oh, potatoes <laughs> and molasses. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> I feel like the animals only like 50 50 know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just kind of just there, filling the rolls. <laughs> I kind of want to try potatoes and molasses though. Uh, Is it any good? <laughs> I can't imagine it would be, but I want to try. Sugary potatoes. Uh. Would you just be like sweet potatoes, wouldn't it be? Uh, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> molasses <laughs> has a different flavor than just sweet though. Oh, come on. It's stuck. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me there. Excuse me. <laughs> It's a I am Beatrice. These two sweet kids and I got a bit lost in the... <laughs> oh, oh, no gosh. birds allowed in my tavern. No birds allowed in your... It's a bad omen when a bluebird enters through your door. It's bad luck. Lady, bluebirds are good luck. We bring joy and happiness to the... <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any of it. Curse you, lady. Curse you. You'll die someday and I'll laugh. Laugh! <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh, I'm out of here. Where, you get directions. W wait, no. I, I don't want to... Just do it! <laughs> He's the butcher. I'm the butcher. The baker. Yeah. The midwife. <laughs> the master and apprentice. The tailor. <laughs> and I'm the tavern keeper. Who are you? I'm hungry. I, I I don't know. I don't really like labels. Maybe he's simple. No, I, I'm just I'm just lost. <laughs> See, we're, we're trying to get to. Uh, uh, the highway. All this picked on. Okay, good to know. Well, so you see, I'm the highway man. I make ends meet. I work with my hands. You cross my path. I'll knock you out. Let you off the road. Steal your shoes from off your feet. I'm the highway man. Well, I make ends meet. Do you want some food too? No, how's we're doing getting directions? Mmm, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, horse, good riddance. <laughs> Sing us your love song. Love song? Yeah, love Sing us your love song. Sing. Sing, love Sing. No. Sing, love Sing. 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 Sing, love
Stewart, and his name is Greg. We're related because my mom remarried him and gave birth to him with my stepdad. <laughs> We're not from around here. Can you all give me some directions today? I know what you are. You're a pilgrim. What? What, like the, the guys who eat turkey and cranberry sauce? No, you're a pilgrim. Pilgrim? You're a traveler on a sacred journey. You're the master of your own destiny. A pilgrim. One time where it fell on a gorilla. Wow. <laughs> it helped me find this frog. Whoa. Uh, I met this helpful woodsman who told us which direction to go to avoid the beast. <gasps> the beast. <laughs> the beast. Oh, you guys have heard of the beast too? We all know the beast, pilgrim. He lurks out there in the unknown, seeking those who are far from home, hoping never to let you return. She sounds familiar too. Oh, once your will begins to spoil, he'll turn you to a tree of oil and use you in his lantern for to burn. Wait, 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 lantern? The woodsman was the guy with the weird lantern, not the beast. Pilgrim, he who carries the dark lantern must be the beast. What? No, the woodsman's a good guy. He warned us of the beast and told us which direction to go to avoid it. And now you're more lost than ever, huh? Can you give us some directions? Our friend Beatrice is trying to take us to Adelaide of the Pasture, the good woman of the woods. She can help us get home. You don't need directions, Pilgrim. You follow that compass inside your heart. Uh... <laughs> No, I think we need directions. <laughs> Beatrice! Go save your friend and get yourself home! Uh, okay. <laughs> or, I'm just gonna pretend like I can ride you, alright? <laughs> Greg, on quick. I told you to leave these woods! Huh? <gasps> Beatrice, you were the beast all along. What is this? Greg, get Beatrice! <laughs> The beast is upon you! Beatrice, you alright? Yeah, I just... I saw a weird shadow and then stupidly flew into a tree and got knocked out. Oh, well, we're alright now. We just got directions from Fred before you woke up. Who? Oh, uh, Beatrice, meet Fred the horse. Nice the horse, your acquaintance. You can talk? <laughs> <laughs> Why not let me take the lantern for a while? Be gone, beast! I fought you for the lantern of war, and I'll fight you again. No need for violence, woodsman, but be sure to keep it lit, or your daughter's flame will go out forever. Do you go shoot me? Beast! Beast! This just got deep. Let me check it. Fred Stoller is the voice of Fred the Horse. <laughs> He's a comedian, and when he was cast, he, he wanted to make it very clear: I can't n make horse sounds good. You guys know that, right? <laughs> like that works fine. <laughs> your, your character talks, so <laughs> just laugh. He just laughs. laughs. Like, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know how to do a horse noise. <laughs> And they're like, that's it's, fine. <laughs> it's better that way? Yeah. yeah that worked. I think it they worked. wrote the character with him in mind, and so the fact that he couldn't, and he was like, that's fine. <laughs> that's, not, that's not why we're casting you. <laughs> <laughs> we're casting you, because your name's Fred. Yeah. It's Fred the horse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the additional voices were Jerome Blindboy Paxton, Audrey Wesselowski, and Elijah Wood does make your voices too. So, what did you guys think of uh, the Schoolhouse Folly and something something Dark Lantern? <laughs> I actually thought that the Schoolhouse one would be way darker, and it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. It could have gone dark, I suppose. The, the second one we watched today is definitely more dark. <laughs> the implications of all these people's lives is kind of like, what's the deal? <laughs> Why is the apprentice on a leash? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the highwayman insinuating that he kills people and everyone's like cheering for it <laughs> cause he's got a roll yeah uh, I, we didn't check before but the, the voice of Jimmy the guy stuck in the gorilla suit he was uh, 
He was the shorts wearing cop in nine and Reno nine one one. Oh, Officer Dongle. Dig Diggle, Diggle or Dingle? Diggle. Yes. Something weird. Something like, like that. that. Yeah. All of those sound like euphemisms for a <laughs> joke. <laughs> I think they were supposed to be. It's somewhere around there. Oh yeah, uh, yeah uh, John Lemon. I think his name is or Lennon's. One of those. No, I don't think it's John Lennon, no, it's but John it's Lennon. Sim- I think it's John Lemon. I don't know. He's a funny guy. I wish I remembered his name. I used to know it. Uh, but yeah, he, he was uh, the grill. Oh, cool. This is packed with like a lot of <laughs> famous people. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we learned a bit. We saw the beast. Uh, or at least a silhouette of the beast. So it's not the woodsman. Yeah. Kind of looked like Hella. Yeah, 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 he's got the antlers, kind of. <laughs> uh, the twisty antlers and the, the you know, striking... Silhouette, uh, and the woodsman says that he fought the beast before and he'll do it again, which is maybe how he got the lantern. Mm-hmm. Which the lantern's lit by his daughter's flame, or no, something. it's lit by the oil he, the oil. he gets from the trees. But he's got to use it to keep his daughter's flame alive. Or yeah. Oh, okay. Which is the beast. You see a woman dancing before. in the flame. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think that's lantern. Adelaide? Hmm. Whoa. Maybe that's why they keep pumping into him. But then that means they'll never find <laughs> their way home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we didn't. We never. We didn't see it. But uh, Greg mentioned that Wart helped him find the frog. In, yeah. the, in the list of adventures they've had, he mentions finding the frog, which we started the show with them already having the frog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and their their step brothers found out. Half brothers. Half brothers. Sorry. Uh, his mom gave birth to Greg. Yes. But they don't have the same dad. Yeah, kind of I makes some sense. Like, I was like, they're they're way, way, very different. Well, uh, as as you guys mentioned before, they're two kids with overactive imaginations. They're just very different imaginations. One is definitely more poetic, and one is more naive. <laughs> is the way to put it. Yeah, <laughs> it's got his head in the clouds. Yeah, there you go. So you're gonna say one's more childish for childish sake. The other one's more like depressed childish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can see that. <laughs> That's being in the pool. Hmm. I see it. And there was a lot of music in these two episodes. the The schoolhouse had a lot of songs about the alphabet. And <laughs> yeah. so the, I want to hear the whole alphabet. <laughs> I kind of know where she, <laughs> she was going like, with every yeah. single letter. <laughs> Does that <laughs> the um, what was he? Was he the the toy maker or whatever that was making the song about marriage? Yeah, 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 he was like a toy maker. Yeah. Like I felt like halfway through he's like having a stroke because he's like oh, kind yeah. of like lost. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> someone give him some help. A lot, like, of, a lot of the older characters mumble on the show, and he's died. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Christopher Lloyd, every now and then, he'll just mumble through lines. Because <laughs> you feel he's just, like, tired. <laughs> His character's just like... <laughs> he knows how long he's, like, just been consistently cutting wood. Like, he knows if he takes breaks or not. That's true. <laughs> and everyone in that tavern was just crazy. <laughs> Very much so. Now that the mill's destroyed, how's he getting the oil out of the wood? Yeah, I don't know. He's, yeah. he's still cutting the wood, but, yeah, yeah there's no mill. Mortar to pe- vessels. I would say he, like, fixed it himself. He was just like... <laughs> That's why we didn't see him for so many episodes. Is he was fixing the middle of like the damage that they did. Maybe it's, we don't know how long it's been exactly. We know it's been a l- some a time days. past. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a few days. I doubt it's been a week or not. Do these two not have? I mean, they have parents. Do they not have parents? Because no one's looking for them. Well, they mentioned they, their parents. Yeah. yeah. The their mom and dad slash stepdad. <laughs> well, they're lost. They probably don't know where to find them. Yeah. Parents might be looking for them. It's just a part of the. They're lost Story in the unknown. Yeah. Where they are is called the unknown. Yeah. So it's it it's might not. Zone. It's like a weird place yeah. that they've gone lost in. Also, still need to know what's going on with that turtle. Yeah. yeah, the turtle popped it's up again. Up. I think it's in every episode somewhere. Yeah. yeah. It's think. just an Easter egg. I'm trying to think. Was it in the pumpkin one? Uh, ooh, was I it? it? I don't know if it was in the Could pumpkin. Could have been somewhere one. in the background. I think it might have it been. Might have I don't remember where, but yeah, I think I remember seeing it. I remember seeing the other three, but not. I don't remember that one. I think it was crawling somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, any other comments, favorite parts, what have you? 
Would you have been able to get directions in that tavern? <laughs> you think? Better than him, probably, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would. I've done about just as well. <laughs> the horse is the only one that... Kind Me and Ward are kind of like simpatico as far as <laughs> ability to talk to people. <laughs> yeah. I think at that age, I was more uh, close to Greg. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I probably would have tried to beat up the highway man. Give me directions. <laughs> you live on the highway. You know what to do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I would. I would too. They try to like. I don't like labels. Don't try to define me. <laughs> People I don't know. <laughs> Although he did like the pilgrim title. Yeah, pilgrim. <laughs> he liked that. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe they maybe they're good at reading people and that's what you are and you go oh that helps me <laughs> navigate life better. <laughs> uh, what do you think at home? Would you have been able to get directions? <laughs> that's a weird question, to ask our audience. <laughs> Would you go to school with a bunch of animals <laughs> and a teacher who was very distracted by lost love? <laughs> they were very good at those instruments, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean it. it because a lot of, when you first see the animals are just kind of just there like not paying attention yeah. or whatever but then they would do stuff like help fight the gorilla or play instruments like yeah. do they know what's going on <laughs> why did they leave that situation without asking one of those adults how to get home yeah because they were on track for Adelaide uh, uh. I think they're set on in Adelaide helping them yeah. I don't know they probably should have but also those idiots are all stupid <laughs> yeah I was trying to say adults, but I said idiots. <laughs> and I feel like, nah, yeah, that, that, I was right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye, Nat. Coffee.